In a world where Africans have lost their roots, it has become of vital importance to document our ways. In an effort to reverse the brainwashing of the past, where we were made to believe our ways are demonic, we are pressed to create dignified and respectful platforms to unpack our spiritual ways. Hello, Moya Right, Umoya O Right, Umoya O Light. Umoya is rising. Thank you so much for all the subscriptions and the sharing and the love and the support we're getting. It means so much to be part of such a beautiful movement that is learning about who we are after we have been brainwashed and bastardized and we have become versions of ourselves that are not even familiar to us anymore. So the series, as you know, is trying to correct that, trying to give us information on who we are, <coughs> Africans worldwide. You know we speak in English to accommodate, but I will try sort out the subtitle mission every time that I do get a chance to, guys. Please allow. Hashtag Moya. This, today, um, I'm sitting with Umkulun Zingiza. Uh, I've sat with him before, you know that, from the great empire of Kemet Institute, the Geek Institute out in Soweto. We'll find out a bit more about that, and I'll put all the details in the description box so you can reach out whenever you need to. We're still unpacking our Africanness, still trying to understand ourselves. Ngoz Kakulum Kulu for joining us and Togos. taking the time. Gamaku. Togos and the words. You Togos. know we appreciate the wisdom and the wealth sure. you give to us as the African child. Togos. And even last time the episode I did with you, very popular. So I'm excited that mm. your children will have no, sure. water to drink from. No, sure, sure. I'm going to give you the way. We w today we want to talk about tradition and school systems, our education, what's happening to us as we're evolving? Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, uh, in tradition, uh, you know, I think that we need to reconnect back to not only the physical tradition, but uh, what is important is the spiritual tradition. This is we, what we need to gravitate towards, you know, because this is where we lost our way, when we then started describing ourselves as, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, 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 based on materialism. Mm. I am this physical, you know, individual. The minute you think like that, you've lost the plot because you are then, you know, separating. You are then viewing yourself as this physicality. And the real you, it's spirit. What do you mean? Unpack what you're saying there. Uh, what I'm saying, Uguti, Umuntu is constituted by two things. Mm. The spirit and the physical. Yes. The spirit projects its itself into the physicality mm. based on the vibrational frequency, Yako, which is unique to you, which will give you the physicality that you are. Because that is you know, the causal that sits on the etheric plane. Sikuluma ngomoya. Yes. Yes. Sikuluma ngomoya. Me sikuluma ngobuta tubembilo. The origins, the, the original trinity, which is the causal, the, 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 the etheric plane, as well as, uh, you know, the, lastly, uh, the physical. You're going to have to explain that. <coughs> Causal, etheric, physical. Causal. Yes. or the realm of ilanga nenyang. Because um, the energy that uh, we receive from the sun, the electro, you know, field, uh, then we have the magnetic field that we receive from the moon. So this is what, when they combine, they then give birth to e life in life that we experience in our physicality. Oh, wow. So e o the origins of life, humor. Wow. And uh, um, um, uh, fortunately, we are in the season of gap, right? According okay. to the African calendar. Yes. Lasi kulumangum shabakon. 
We are talking that about what physicality. Physicality. Okay. Uh, remember, Guti, uh, Ukep represents the spirit that uh, makes everything, you know, uh, here on earth animate. And uh, it is that spirit which is uh, from the sun and the moon. Ubutatu. Mm. Uh, remember, the electro and the magnetic, when they combine, they form the electromagnetic field. This is the field that uh, is around our planet Earth. And uh, therefore, oh. Tina, we are a macrocosm of, uh, you know, that energy. That is why Nati, you know, we have this electromagnetic field. Yindo espilisayo, ilo moya gamvelingangi, no moya ganum kubuluan. This is the duality of nature that uh, makes everything, uh, you know, manifest here on Earth. Are you saying that we are the children of the sun and the moon? Oh, no, certainly. Um, uh, that is quite clear and scientific. You, we wouldn't be alive without the electromagnetic field that uh, makes us live, that uh, energizes us, e e energy from the sun. You know, uh, uh, the sun is the only creator here in our, you know, in our solar system. There's no other creator except the sun. Well, what do you mean when you say that? Ilang is responsible because without the sun and the moon, there's no life on earth. Remember, Guti, the sun burns carbon continuously. That is why the sun will never stop shining. It's not like ESCOM that uh, <laughs> puts us in this mess. The sun, you, you can look at it as, uh, you know, our natural ESCOM because the sun produces, you know, um, uh, it lends hydrogen from carbon. It burns carbon to produce hydrogen, right? The hydrogen there is what is called the hydrosphere. You know, then what you see as light is, is the photosphere. Do you understand? So meaning the production happens, and uh, that affects everything. Everything, even the planets, are, are energized, or they get their source of energy from the sun and the moon. What? Yes. So they're like the charger? Yes, yes, yes. For everything? This is what connects us. When you talk about the pineal gland, you know, and the pituitary, you know, gland, they represent the sun and the moon right like Andalago. Okay, you're going to have to unpack that. Hey, that uh, will need uh, another lecture. But, uh, okay. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Right? Okay. This is the seat of the soul. This is where we connect with the universe. You know, we connect to the sun, the moon, and all the planets, you know, that uh, make our life through the pineal gland. Yisolomoya, Yilo Leli, a city, is the Akashic records. You know, when you receive Isambulelo divine inspiration, Usuge, who activated that eye. Oh, my word. Yeah, so, Tina Sumoy. You know, physicality, it was an outward expression. Yes, we were going back to the causal, the. Text. Yes. And the three planes. Yes, yes, yes. So we've hey. got the causal, the sun and the moon. Yes, yes. It, it then explains the philosophy, African philosophy, Obabu Kredo, Obu Shekhanta Diop, Theophilo Benga, you know, all these uh, great, uh, you know, uh, scholars of uh, the continent. Uguti, there's no death. Mm. In reality, there's no death because his science says you cannot destroy energy. Do you understand? So, yes. therefore, Maubulala, the physicality. Umoya remains. Do you understand? Because it's forever connected. And the umoya, you know, renews itself. It then expresses outward into, based on that vibrational frequency, into another, you know, form. So, maubulala, umundu, kabangutu, katile, umundu, katang, umundu, because you have just affected the physicality. That is why Abantu Abahamba Babula Labantu Batrina Basanya. Because remember, another thing is Ogmelesi Kumbule. What surrounds us, what we breathe, what, what we call air, it's a lighter form of the water. And those are atoms. 
you know, that surrounds us. Atoms, you know, store a memory. They have memory. And the atoms are conscious. So therefore, umoya we are born and Jango Basile listens the interview. The atoms that are around us, you know, they can see everything. It's just that they don't have physicality for expression. That we have. That is the relationship yeah, between our Koko to the ancestors and us. Uguti Bona, they are forever, you know, um, 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 uh, wanting full expression. Ying ako, i consciousness yako, it has got to raise, you've got to raise your consciousness to that level mm -hmm. so that you are able to decode these spiritual messages. Mezi figa, lendo se ibizi sambulela. Ufugenje ne pupo o ututle elinje unigezwe i design of a pyramid. Umugise tu architect injalo. Do you understand? This is how Tina we acquire knowledge by forever, you know, and perpetually being in alignment, you know, with what is above. Because what is above control, the, you know, what is, uh, you know, below. So there's got to be a resonance all the time between what is above and what is below. What do you mean when you say what is above and so what's below? What? Umoya. Umoya that animates. Umoya opili sayonke into epilayo emshabin. is from above. I, 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 earth is receptive. It's receiving I energy from above. So yonke into epili When you talk about the causal and the etheric plane, they're all above. You know, above in the sky is espagapagin. Right on. Okay, so that's the etheric, and then there's the physical, you said. Yes. Which is us, us. me and you, what we can Ikabi, see. Ikabishi, ashi, inja, whatever. Do you understand? All those things are not a material. They have a material expression and manifestation, but ziumoya yonki indo. Are you saying that most things, like as we sit here and look around, there's more that is unseen yes. than there is that we are seeing. Oh, no, sure. And uh, that is that which is unseen, you know, uh, makes the physicality of the seen possible. Do you understand? Umoya that creates. Wawena ukalo umoya. Right? Umoya that uh, then, uh, you know, forms the physicality that you are. Without Lomoya, we is to it. Yes. Hey, your eyes, as you are looking at me, it's not your physicality. Remember, your eyes are just an instrument for the spirit that dwells within you. Do you understand? It's because I want to know where, where was my spirit before it occupied my body. It was always there. It's always there. It's always the emanating from the sun and moon forever. So we are the ancient ones. We are, we are, we are, we are. We are the ancient one, the nine ether beings, Tina. We have a carbon, which is the source of all elements, uh, you know, in our universe. This is carbon, what you call melanin. So we have divineness in our system. Okay, what do you mean? Because you keep going to the periodic table and... It's all about that, uh, when I'm thinking. Spirituality said, it's science. Ah. Do you understand? So, we, we, we have been made to believe, Guti, we are inferior in every aspect of our lives. And yet, we are the parents. We are the civilizers mm -hmm. of, uh, you know, uh, Lomshaba. Umshaba won't get caught in civilization from us. Hey. It's so funny you should raise that because maybe we should talk a little bit about the university uh, in Timbuktu, connected to our, what's happening with us now when we don't realize the value of knowledge and education, whereas when we were ancient, we knew we were always about higher learning. Oh, no, certainly. Uh, I, I can see Timbuktu. Uh, but uh, the oldest things are here, here in South Africa. 
What or in mean? the southern part, uh, you know, of the continent. Is civilization started here. Two artifacts, uh, scientific artifacts, that uh, we can point to. In the Lang is the oldest stone calendar. Do you understand? Then uh, there is what is called the Libombo bone, which is a mathematical uh, calculation that was used by Indlovugaz when they were tracking the movement of the moon. So those people, th that is the first science that we have proved of Uguti civilization started here. The engraving of the oldest ankh on a stone in the world is here. The carving of a uh, falcon, you know, a falcon that represents Umvelingang, the oldest carving of the falcon is uh, there here. Why does the va falcon uh, represent Umvelingang? Eh, because I uh, remember, Guti, a falcon flies the highest. A falcon, uh, you know, uh, uh, flies uh, the fast, fate, fastest and uh, it attacks with precision, right? So it represents the sun and it can look at the sun without the eyes being affected. So when we, we give a description of the sun, the sun is higher than earth, right? But you know, Yoge Ilenduza, you know, a falcon that was chosen to represent mm. the sun. It's not like a bandu there, but but the falcon, no. Remember, Guti, then we're in symbolic thinking. Not uh, this logic. Aungchele, where's the logic? Where's the logic there? There can never be logic because, uh, you know, if me na ngumuntu omoya, I believe, Guti, I'm everywhere, you know, um, um, uh, uh, all the time. Ni say New York, just ngukabang, I'm there. Ni say Japan, just ngukabang, I'm there. So, Okoko Betu developed even a technique, you know, but the astral travel. Ah, I was about to ask if that's what yes. you're talking about. Yes, yes, yes. So, Ivelugitu, it is a pre colonial. Yegel at this political history of the. Yes, it's important, as Gutiabo, Nyerere, Benza, Anibo. That is not important to us. What is important? You need to go back pre colonial. During the golden era of the continent, this is where you will find this value. All these people are still doing it today. You know, Phil Valentine's. Those are Ivan van Sertima. Those are the people who showed us the way. Stereotype You can then challenge it with facts. EGK speaks facts. Whatever we are saying, we've, we've got scientific proof. In the calendar, we have scientific proof based on the Northern Hemisphere. Back Pamba said, Ukutang is cut is wrong. Kuni nisi kutanga le calendar is African people. Where are we? Because we are always out of alignment between what is physical and what is spirit, for you to be able to progress, you need that balance, that harmony. Ima art within you. For you to understand what is the characteristic of the, the, the energy, the core of my being. You need to understand so that it gives you, you know, all the answers about why you behave the way you do in the physical, because it's all la. Yes. It's all la. It's a spiritual, uh, you know, physical uh, mm. expression. Hey. Our behavior is governed by how yes. we feel. Lomoya that you embody when you are born, the season that you are born in, that is the, 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 the this is what gives you character. When we say we understand, uh, you know, Untsiki, Single describer. We are not describing your physicality. Mm. We are describing yes. your actions, which are caused by your spirit yes. self. Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. So then, how do we get? Because they like to confuse us and tell us what to know. We can't 
learn in indigenous languages as Golweni because there's no African words for the science terms and whatever. How are we going to decolonize our education system? I, when uh, our language is uh, very scientific, as an example, um, uh, the first atom, Okokobe to Abatwa, they called atom, right? Abelung said atom. The Christianity said Adam. Kepatina, she has learned on Umvelingai, Mokamata, Urama said. Do you understand? That is science. Because, oh, Coco we were talking about the first cause, Umvelingai, the one that came first, before any other creation. And that, that is linked to the ancient knowledge system that said Atum the first atom, and everything else, it is that a first atom. When you look at, uh, you know, the, what is a, a periodic table, with all these, uh, you know, uh, elements, there's only one element in the universe, which is hydrogen, which is that, uh, you know, first hydrogen atom, that, uh, you know, gave birth to everything that lived. Everything in our universe, everything is, is uh, you know, hydrogen. This is how it manifests in us. This is how it manifests in plants as chlorophyll. So when you talk about helium, maybe it's two or three portions of hydrogen. You talk about a carbon, it's six portions of hydrogen. Everything is a repetition of, uh, you know, hydrogen. Oh, my goodness. Hey, and that uh, you learn from uh, Professor Oibo. You know, those, these are great Africans who are trying to push back this uh, colonization of the mind. We are the civilizers of the world. So we need to go back there. Stop treating ourselves, uh, you know, behaving like uh, slaves when we are greater than that. And it's all about your consciousness. Go back to where you were before e colonization. Then you will find value when how valuable you are because they also always say that Africa hasn't developed at all ever since colonialism the last bits of the development there can never be development because this is when the misalignment of all Africans and Africa started so if Africa has been misaligned until Namanj we are still in a hybrid mode Hey, we are controlled by a Western philosophy, and yet we are on the continent. This is what the Chinese resisted, and that is why they are so powerful today. For Tina, it's very easy to sell ourselves out. We are cheap to be bought by the whole world. That is why the whole continent is like this, the self-preservation. How do you allow the domination of a foreign philosophy? And uh, you impose it on the majority of the people. Sure, okay, so I, I, I really want us to go in on the how we're going to fix the education system. Because as things are right now, we get educated to look for jobs and not necessarily the education one would need for self-actualization as an African. Lentwing Isha is part of all this uh, thing I've been saying is part of your education system. Mm. Our new education system or the original uh, education system. Mm. And uh, we cannot get there without changing your consciousness here. We must stop looking at ourselves as hybrids. Abantu, Abafanan and Oreo. We are black outside but in a pagatum shop. Because of the philosophy that uh, you have, uh, you know, when uh, you have taken it as a reality. But then what are we going to do with, um, I mean, the, the ones who listen to 702 and the academics and... No, no, no. We need to rise, uh, you know, as black people and say, in reality. Mm. We need to come out of this uh, Western philosophy and Western ways of uh, thinking and doing things. 
The problem is that the, the, it's black people with good English who are the gatekeepers of this dual system we're having. Oh, no, so. So how do we... How do no, we <laughs> remember, Guti, uh, is staring the control, umoya. Land of that they call mambo jambo, mes loko si pasha. Why? Because they are ignorant of the power, ya lomoya. Izo dila now. Do you understand? Kangane, kangane, as long as Tina, si science are the necessary rituals, you know, that we're supposed to do. Like, uh, you know, visiting all these four cardinal points. You know, these four cardinal points represent the vortexes in our country. In Zaloelang. That's the first, uh, you know, vortex. You know, you go to La Pael and do the uh, Capricorn uh, Monument. That's the second, uh, you know, vortex. Any vortex in La Pepeikville, you know, Mangwanin. Another one, which is the root chakra, is there in Bluff, at Deben. So as long as we see Sisa Hamba laying down throughout there, because the more we visit these places, we are gaining more power and strength. Meaning, good e connection between ourselves and, uh, you know, uh, Izulu, it's getting stronger. And I remember, Guti, we are in an, you know, another age, the age of Aquarius, you know, uh, age of knowledge. You know, we are entering, uh, you know, the knowledge economy. Whatever you knew that uh, you were taught uh, by Westerners is going to be irrelevant, which is why you need to go back and learn, you know, this, uh, you know, African philosophy. It's going to be irrelevant. Who would want to know, you know, anything about Einstein? Who <laughs> Einstein ingane go Imhotep? Who Einstein learn from Imhotep? Learn from Amunhotep? Learn from Hashepsut? Do you understand? So manje, if you don't possess that knowledge, e youth is going to be demanding that. And then our youth, like GK, we are putting them through a program so that in in future they are going to be teachers of Abanda Batala. Because oh. Abanda Batala, they are still locked yes. in this uh, hybrid, uh, you yes. know, um, uh, thing. Yes. Which I know, uh, umlungu, uh, when they came with, uh, you know, psychological, uh, you know, subversion, you know, what is the reality according to them? This is why we are still locked mentally. So we need to decolonize that. It's as good we are parents. I belong and everybody in Ghana so then, what is the importance of rituals then, in they're, the, they're, especially this situation? They are very important. On the 20th uh, of um, um, uh, 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 March, uh, um, uh, uh, one of the vortexes that uh, represent the Western marker. Meaning, uh, Nguti, Unom uh, Kubulwane or the, the female archetype of our uh, of our of our planet um, um, uh, uh, is is actually losing umlinga niwanke the partner who is umvelingan. Remember the sun now officially on the twenty first of March it uh, you know goes through the equator, then on the 23rd, it's on the northern hemisphere. Winter. We are bidding farewell to the sun. So, si yo lili sa unum kubulwane alilela umlingani wak. Do you understand? Tukuti, the sun is departing, you know, that nurturing and warm energy that yes. we need on the southern hemisphere is leaving us. So, si yo mkalisa, we are one with unum kubulwane, we are one with the sun. So the more we do such things, then on the on the on the on the 21st of June, which is in Jigalanga, which yeah. is the real gashle gashle message si kulumanga le languchala band, the real African Christmas. It's on the 21st of March, you know, uh, because of March or June. No, no, sorry, on of June. Okay. Yes. Because it represents a ilanga when the sun makes a U turn. You see, the very same thing in Zagalangi 25 is ga. December. It's the very same, it's actually not E25, E23 is got December. In Jigalang, I say Northern Hemisphere, where now the sun makes a U-turn and, and faces them. So Tina, that period, 
yen zagala ngi 21st is ga June. When the sun, you know, makes a U-turn and faces us, wow. now is the day of hope for the Southern Hemisphere. And that will be confirmed by the 23rd of uh, September when the sun comes back now on the Southern, uh, you know, Hemisphere. There should be festivals, Moss. Yes, certainly, by, by the whole nation. Uti Waiyama China are so powerful. It's because they do these things as a nation, as a collective. This is what uh, strengthens them because uh, it aligns them na lomoya wabo. And it's so sad how the African child has not looked up the Chinese revolution and how it is built on isin to sabo and Injalo. cultural. Injalo. Gashe, gashe, if we had, uh, you know, bold and real leaders on the continent, kumelenje, you know, a youth that will take over, that has been trained by this, you know, in this African philosophy, they need to close the borders for 50 years. Sing I've been the interaction in je. Ama a wave say to we must feed our own people our yeah. own content exactly what China did. Look at where they are now. They are almost controlling the whole world because economically they are number one. They own two thirds of uh, stock markets, as uh, you know, um, uh, USA. Because of that thing, Guti, they 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 they, they told themselves, Guti, Bazo Pilang is China. Huh? Sometimes people need. To get out and let the family come together and talk amongst themselves. No, in jail, in jail. Then again, you have to ask me again. The lagu education. The mm. education. The word itself it means bringing something out. Bringing something out from inside out. Meaning, guti. You then mine the diamond that is there within Abantu mm. by aligning them with the core of their being. That is the first foundation, you know, um, um, uh, education system. Yingako city, Tina, Lai Africa. We don't need any foreign content. We have so much. Yeah. There is no continent. That surpasses us in terms of uh, illiteracy. Yeah. So we just need the bold people. Not, uh, you know, Limswasa who claim to be our leaders. And yet they are working against us. How do you work? Because when we promote the calendar, the African calendar, that uh, correlates with nature. Why do you have a problem? Why do you have a problem with that? You would rather fund isn't or that creates no resonance. E25 is girl into the Christmas year. How much money government puts there? And they are supporting Amazon, I say Northern Hemisphere. At our expense, mock figure who September when we're supposed to be, you know, doing and welcoming our ancestors in the sun on the Southern Hemisphere, they do fuck all. They do bright day. They do fuck all. So it means uh, it's sin to say it. It's not important to them. Why? Because Bona, they are still locked in this Western mentality, Western philosophy. Mm. You you may, you keep I love that you keep mentioning the African calendar. I love what we unpacked it in the last um podcast. What month are we in now, Ganene? This is when we're planting our yeah, seeds. Yeah, we, we call them seasons. We are in the season of gap. Mshaba. Uh, that is the season where uh, uh, what, is, what I spoke to you about, the electromagnetic field of Earth, it's, it's at a, a maximum, you know, a, a strength currently because uh, that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, what, uh, you know, uh, we see that in Oguti Gube is season of harvest, right? Um, uh, it's got a harvest, Liz. That's why Eswazin, Nale Gwa Tembo Zobona, Oh, Mama Batweli, Emma Paskiti, Nendi Shibaya, Eskodrin, Emma Kosin, Ugyo Nigeza in Kosi Guti Lume, before they partake. Do you understand? So this is the educational uh, e education system. Esikulmangayo, 
Abantu must be given that foundation in Kala. Because the calendar is the foundation of his science. Mm -hmm. The calendar is the foundation of his spirituality, say it. You know, the calendar, you know, uh, monitors what energy is prevalent at what time and uh, what rituals are you supposed to do during that season. Uh, there are 12, there are Shinjan. Do you understand? So if you a calendar from a point to good eyes, it's just an ornament you hang on the wall. No. The calendar we are talking about, we've reintroduced. We are a pillar on a daily basis. This is when you are creating a harmony between Israel and Nomshaba, and that's when you experience yourself in magic, what is called magic. It's nothing magical, it's just a harmony. When you have harmony, we free flow on you experience, oh, and uh, that uh, brings you to vibrate at a very high frequency. Isn't of low uh, vibrational frequency, it don't affect you. Yeah. Because when this is a person, do you understand? Yes, I understand. Hey, so, so, the education system yet, um, do I must understand to start with yeah. the African creation story? Because this is where Ubu Shagani begins. How did our ancestors see, you know, this whole universe come to be? Because that is where you understand the foundation of our intelligence as African people. Because it's science, the Western science, it is based on that science. And that science is written in what is called the Shabaka stone. The oldest, you know, a stone scientific and mathematical, you know, um, um, uh, artifact in the world. There's nothing older than that. It's amazing because it, there's so much information and so much knowledge and we don't even know a fraction of it. We don't. We don't because, uh, you know, uh, this is what... Gashle, gashle, lendwe sienza out in UK. Umsebenz were government. Yeah. We went out there and they bothered ourselves to say we cannot continue with, uh, you know, operating as, uh, you know, slaves in our own country. Because this is, that the person was very passionate about this. We cannot continue like this. We cannot never leave a legacy of ignorance amongst, uh, you know, our children. Let us research where were we before colonizers came here. This is what, uh, you know, um, uh, was given to us, so based on the research, mm. and uh, based on listening to Babu Credo, in everything that uh, he was saying, he was uh, pointing us to the right direction. It's taking us uh, nowhere. How do you, um, I'm so glad you, you, you invited Mamzinzi Mandela into the space, and, I want to know how do we, because Babu Kedo Mutu was so difficult to hear and understand. It's about interpretation and, mm. you know, how do we, how are you going to, this language that is on such a um, sophisticated frequency, explain it to human beings who are just so, <laughs> oh no, we, we, we look at uh, we are Tina say pila le life. It's a it's a it's a it's a culture of choice. Every Sunday we are giving lectures. Every Sunday, every Sunday. And Abandwana, uh, you know, they are in the forefront. They open up and uh, to tell us about the topic of uh, today. So we engage Abandwana. Abandwana mm -hmm. when we talk about this African creation story and this principle, they, 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 they are mastering them now. Do you understand? Ooh. Why? Because it's not difficult for them, boy, because Lendole, it's, it's, it's locked in their genetic memory. So when you joke that, uh, you know, genetic memory, they remember automatically. <gasps> it, what we are saying is nothing new. It's there. That's the thing. In our DNA, is there. 
Because when you hear this information, there's a resonance. Something I happens. Know. You just know. put bumps. You're like, no, I, this know. I, I know this. I know. You know? And uh, you, you, you'll find the you good go corner band to get by piggies. Umoya uvume nga pagati. Kepo munti ati hai ngake. Hai ngake. Because the foundation near me Christianity or the foundation near me you Western philosophy. That's what I was saying. How are you going to get this language that's so out there? I mean, you're talking about UFOs and being abducted by aliens, you know, to a normal brain. You're just like, okay, guys, I'm leaving the room now. <laughs> no, even uh, the question am I aliens. Yes. He mystified a balloon. Ubabu Credo said, Lama aliens are Bakulma now. Those are Anunnaki who landed here. Kona la penzalo. Uti bafana nam nawe. Are you going to go to the land of It's just an image for us to fear. Because, uh, you know, who knows? Not this boy, Alapa. The, the Dogon people uh, spoke about that. Uguti Sibuya Alapa. But they went to Syria's B. They talk about the normal people who, 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 who landed from uh, Syria's B. So we can't be, you know, closed up and uh, not being open about that possibility. And there's uh, rumors that they are coming back. So you're saying that there's different species of humankind. Oh, no. Bob Credo said we can never be arrogant and think that our planet is the only planet in the galaxy that has uh, or supports, uh, you know, um, a physical life. So we should expect to go to the other, you know, uh, planets and galaxies and, and solar system in our galaxy where there's a, you know, a life like us. It takes a lot of imagination, that's the thing. It, it doesn't, uh, it, 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 consciousness. Once you, you, you view yourself yeah. as spirit, you can't heal it. Because we are one with everything. Yeah, you're everywhere. Um, everywhere, yeah. um, yeah. you're air. Hey, remember, Guti, La Bugge Guapila Mata Dinosaurs. Before the meteorite that hit yes. Earth, it means, Guti, the environment, the oxygen yes. levels went down. They were never, you know, were, were not able to support a dinosaur life. There were giants here on the continent before yes. that, uh, you know, incident. This is what uh, dropped the oxygen levels, which is why Uzotola Guti Manje, a life form, a, a corn manje, is it different, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, a million years, uh, you know, ago. Is it not a possibility? Even if there were dinosaurs that big, then they could have been humans. That oh, are, no, that's sure. Why. There's proof to that. There were giants. There's that uh, big foot, La Pimpumalang. There's that a big food la pimpumalanga which tourists go and see all the time, you know. So there were giants, uh, you know, on the continent. So we have to accept that there's different types, and there's good and evil on the planet, and we are amongst it. Oh no, certainly. In Zalela, Sudan, go to Sudan. Banga na na ban basi Sudan. Mm. They, are, they are taller than most of us on the mm. continent. Yeah, boy. So, he proved good bag of a pillar, a band of a bate, my giants. So, in life, uh, you know, it, it depends on the prevailing or, or the energy that is prevalent at a particular time. It supports this type of, uh, you know, a uh, life system. So the energy that's prevailing now in the southern hemisphere is harvest. Yeah, manj, so we harvest period until the twenty third. Okay, and what's going to happen afterwards so that we're prepared? Uh, after Lapo we are we are entering the latent uh, you know period of winter, oh, we're where the within. nurturing energy is no longer on the on the southern hemisphere. We are going to experience a makaza you know, nothing will grow. So that is a perfect period. Because remember, Guti, uh, when the sun is in hibernation, therefore, Nati, we are in hibernation. Meaning, Guti, we should do less 
of the physical things, but they do more of the spiritual, uh, you know, side because a period from Monday till September again is controlled by Unum Kubulwan. Okay. And Unum Kubulwan, the moon, that is a master magician energy. Okay. Meaning, Guti, it's a perfect period to start right on the 21st of uh, March, building in your mind by putting the pictures that you want to see manifest when physicality time returns again in September. You know, be consistent. One picture, you want that house. Just put that picture in your mind. What? And uh, you invoke the necessary emotion that uh, you will feel when you have achieved that. That's all you need to do during this period. Whatever that you want to launch in September, you start building it now. You know, right from the 21st of March, in your mind, just keep feeding. But uh, your pictures mustn't be fuzzy. And they don't look at, uh, you know, um, um, uh, into a uh, Deben. Then the next thing, uh, you know, so buga into Mpumala. Uh -uh. Be consistent. Whatever you feed your mind, you are changing, you know, um, 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 ipetin, uh, lime and uh, basically you use the emotion as a glue. Always invoke that emotion. That emotion more into Yes. That is the emotion you invoke again. You see yourself living in that house. You know, you see yourself cleaning that house. Be, be that house. Then automatically magic happens. The universe conspires with you. This is what the white people say manifesting is. In Okay, uh, to me, how much more time do we have? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, okay, so before I let you go off, I really wanted to really go into the ritual thing because I was watching a, a podcast this past um, week and they were thinking about how rituals are important in terms of um, aligning the psychology with the, circum the physical circumstances. Oh, no, no. The ritual is very important. When I be the ritual, I be the meditation, I be the whatever. It's all about creating harmony between what is above and what is below, which is why timing is important. You must know um, um, uh, what season we are in and uh, what are the rituals of that season. You know, um, so that you avoid asking for something that is not there. Uh, Do you understand? Yes. So your timing has got to be perfect. Yes. 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 It doesn't work. So for you to be able to, to be successful and receive and see manifestation, timing is very po important for our rituals. Where are we going to get this information about the timing of rituals and which kind of rituals? Yeah, from the calendar. The, 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 the Kemete, you know, African royal calendar. Hey, you see, another, another value of that. See, let us in twin. It's not floating, uh, you know, with the uh, Western language and Western philosophy. See, we brought it down to the people and say, Umvelingang is the sun. Mm -hmm. This is what a Westerners call. Do you understand? So that's the difference. It gives you a better understanding of uh, these, uh, you know, principles. And uh, so that when you are uh, then, uh, you know, uh, harmonizing Nalomoy, you need to create the necessary vibrational frequency. Imagine yourself uh, praying, yes, long. What are you saying? But that's the thing about why this conversation is so important because I'm a product of Izkolo uh, Zabelung. And from when I was very young, so my thinking, my dreaming, everything in the Gang is which is.
the calamity and that's what we are trying to avoid so how do we communicate this because Aban Bangogu, they think that it's a good thing if your uh, children can speak English, but then you become a grown up. Onga was upata, Nesintu. Ilapo, Ilapo, when I'm of Gaz Noba, Gashe Gashe, it's all about vibrational frequency. For me to be able to affect a stone, Uguti levitate, I've got to hit the right note. Do you understand? So, manje, mau pata, Neslung. Oko, koko, koko. And these are the people who are holding a solution for you. Ubazela with a foreign language. It never works like that. Songke, songke, see, you know, we grew up in this thing, in this mess. But you make an effort yes. to go back and learn. You know, to yes. go and, 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 and learn in my own language, you know. Yes, how did they articulate it? Because when you invoke that proper vibrational frequency, ah. which you will never find in a foreign language, yeah. it's always your own language. That is why Kalenda Yetu, it's in our own languages. So that a mau pasha, mau pasha le mimoe, you invoke we are easy now as we shall end. Uguti ne siri. Oh, lendo is long, lo pasha la pem samong is long. I se benz leon. <laughs> On that note, Nkulu, <laughs> before you offend us. <laughs> and it's not about offending people, but it's not about offending people, but it's not so why do you think when unayo leo right to actually insult your ancestors ngalionzen ubazela with a foreign language a language of colonization lendo ya babulala they were fighting this colonization when amanje because of impuqugu zitshela ukuthi uphuqukele kanti regression we are no longer able to to, to invoke these uh, energies because we are using the wrong vibrational frequency. Sure. Sabulela, that you took the time to come and share your wisdom and your energy. You know, you are busy people, but you're making time for us and we really appreciate it. Gakul, gakul. No, Guys, I know you enjoyed that one. Um, I'm going to put all his um, details in the description box. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and share, and continue supporting us. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to, you know, you know, you know, Moya Rights, Moya Right, Moya Upright, Moya is rising. We'll see you next time. Thank you. In a world where Africans have lost their roots, it has become of vital importance to document our ways. In an effort to reverse the brainwashing of the past, where we were made to believe our ways are demonic, we are pressed to create dignified and respectful platforms to unpack our spiritual ways.